this is JP from Not Lights Over Arkham. This time we will be looking at how to build a deck by uh, cutting down from way above the deck limit and I will be using uh, Winifred Habermock as an example for this uh, deck building tutorial. So let's get started. So, uh, this time we are building a deck by uh, basically picking a lot of cards that would be uh, maybe good in the deck and then uh, because we are way over the deck uh, limit so we need to uh, trim down the path so to speak uh, so at first let's look at the deck pool we uh, picked from the available card pool. Uh, the reason for this uh, demonstration I picked Winifred so that I don't have enough class to pick cards from. So as a quick mention I'm uh, d doing this deck build in mind that I want to include uh, Chuck Burgos into the deck later. So uh, Chuck really likes uh, tactic and trick events so when you are playing those kind of events you can exhaust Chuck Burgos and get to play the event as a fast event or lower its uh, cost by two resources or get plus two to the value of the skill test so I'm looking into ways to include uh, some more of those kind of uh, cards in the deck and I think in the upgrade path I will be adding versatile into the deck to get more of those cards in after I've uh, got enough experience to include uh, Chuck. But uh, that's enough of the upgrade path. Uh, let's get into the uh, deck list. So as you can see there are a lot of events. I've picked the events in mind that uh, they have either uh, the trick or the tactic trait or are just good for a uh, rogue in general. So uh, these cards can be really useful when uh, combined with Chuck's ability. Also because I'm playing Winifred there are a lot of skill cards but we also need some assets, uh, we need allies, so that later we can uh, change one of the allies to Chuck. And of course uh, Winifred really likes the lucky secret case. Winifred is good at evading and decent at investigating, so because I mainly play uh, true solo, this will be a true solo deck, so I have to include some ways to uh, fight enemies uh, or rather defeat enemies or at least evade them and get some benefits out of that and of course ways to get clues. So let's get back uh, to the card view. We have uh, 53 cards in this pile and we need to trim down to 30 cards so we need to get rid of 23 cards first off uh, we really need to start thinking of cards that might not be that uh, necessary for uh, Winifred and also that are not com comboing with Chuck which is our uh, goal to get into this deck. So uh, first off uh, some easy cuts are uh, Faustian Borgen. It is a really it is a, well so to speak a really powerful card but it is packed and cursed traded so it doesn't help us uh, with Chuck. So I'm cutting that. Then I think uh, we don't run that many resource um, events or uh, actually assets that require a lot of uh, resources so I think uh, we 
can cut Lone Wolf, even if that is a good card. Also, I uh, now uh, notice that I have Pilfer, which is a, a good combo card with Chuck, but it, in, in true solo it's not that good, because there are rarely locations with three or more clues on them. Also, Slip Away is a good card, but I think we can manage uh, with Winifred without it. And we have already cut seven cards out of the 23 that we need to cut. Uh, let's look at some of the skill cards. Uh, even though Winifred likes skill cards, we need to think that the deck can't be only skill cards if we are uh, going to combo with Chuck. So I think Unexpected Courage can go. Then uh, uh, Opportunist is maybe... Well, let's cut it for now. Uh, we might get back to that. Oh yeah, uh, Calling in Favors is uh, a card for uh, the up graded version of the deck basically when we have changed uh, either of these allies into Chuck we will be able to look for Chuck with the calling in favors uh, if we have another ally in play okay let's get back to the assets uh, pickpocket uh, pickpocketing is really good for uh, Winifred, so I will definitely keep hold of that as long as I can. Uh, we really don't need two weapons, and I'm thinking uh, that Derringer is okay, but I think the 25 automatic could be good uh, in combination with Winifred's high evade. So uh, let's cut the Derringer. So let's see. We re still need to cut 10 cards, so eavesdrop is a good uh, card for investigating, but I think we are okay without it. Let's cut that. Also followed, uh, could be good, and it's a tactic, so it combos with per uh, Chuck, but I think for solo we don't really need that. So we still need to cut six cards. Uh, we are definitely keeping the lock picks. Uh, we already decided on the uh, 25 automatic. Lucky cigarette case is a keep. Uh, both of the allies is a keep. Uh, falling in favor is a keep. Uh, cheap shot is uh, maybe question questionable. Also backstab uh, is questionable. Well, I think we could get rid of the coup de gras. I think the new breaking and entering card is a keep. It uh, combos nicely with Chuck. Uh, let's see. Sneak attack. Uh, it It is... Uh, could be good. I think Hatchetman doesn't really do much in this deck. And uh, Sneak by is good, it combos nicely with Chuck, it adds plus 2 to our uh, skill test and also is fast, so we can make a fast evade. That would be really uh, good for keeping uh, the deck going. So, let's see where we are at. Okay, so uh, we still need to get rid of two cards, so... Let's see, uh, I think we uh, have to keep at least this amount of skill cards, so we're we'll keeping the skill cards, no questions asked. Uh, the assets are locked down, this is locked down, so uh, basically we need to cut uh, some of the events. Let's see. I think backstab and cheap shot uh, have a good 
synergy with Chuck. They make the fight actions fast, also Chuck can make them cheaper. And the upgraded versions of these are really good because you can return them back to your hand and keep comboing them with Chuck. So I think we are actually removing the sneak attacks. So I think that is the final cut. So let's see, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So uh, we are down to 30 cards. So this will be the final deck on uh, level 0. And I think I will uh, try this out in a game. I haven't uh, decided on which campaign I'm really playing. But that is basically how you cut down uh, the deck from uh, possible cars that could be good in the deck. So I hope this tutorial was uh, out of some use. Thanks for watching and until next time.